Last gasp. Leslie Chase will do anything it takes to push through his mega real estate development, even if it includes arranging the massacre of a Mexican native tribe to clear a patch of land. But no bad deed goes unpunished, as, after murdering the tribe's chief in cold blood, Leslie's body and mind are taken over by the chief's vengeful spirit. Forced into committing a series of heinous murders, Leslie's life is thrown into greater peril when a private detective, who has been hired to investigate the disappearance of one of his victims, begins to suspect that the elusive real estate tycoon is harboring a deadly secret. Last gasp. Movie number three of the four I watched yesterday. Uh, this one stars Robert Patrick, also known as the Evil T-1000, uh, which is the main reason why I grabbed this movie. And he plays such an amazing asshole. Um, just, he's got the look to be a total douchebag, and it works very well for him. Um... He doesn't waste any time. Like, he's he's got this huge building that's being made, and he keeps ha losing workers. Um, he keeps finding them with, like, their Achilles tendons sliced, um, sprawled out, chest ripped open, and he's getting sick of it. And then he finds out that it looks like ritualistic killings done by like ancient Indians and then he finds out there's a tribe nearby which is why he has them all snuffed out um, but the people that he pays to do it uh, they force him to do the final blow in this one tribe's person and then he gets attacked by the chief later on after they think everyone's been killed off um, he kills the chief in self-defense, and that's when he's possessed. Um, that's, that's the gist of the story. Uh, the private detective, he's kind of a fucking pleb. Um, like, there's one part where he wants to break into a spot, and the person that owns the property literally just pulls out and not even five seconds later, we've got this dipshit climbing the fence to break in. Like, you're going to be seen in the rearview mirror, bud. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You suck at your job. Um, lo and behold, he gets caught, leads to an awesome fight scene. Um, doesn't get killed there, though. Um, the kills were cool. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing spectacular. It was just, they were cool. Um, the ritualistic deaths were fucking awesome. And then just, just the whole Achilles tendon slicing, like, zoomed right in on it, too, on some of them. It was very similar to the Achilles slice in the first Hostel movie. Just, just nasty. It's... It's stuff you can feel while you're watching it. Not pleasant. <laughs> um, but yeah, as the movie goes on, um, he starts getting romantically involved with the friend of the woman who hired that detective to find her missing boyfriend or fiancé, whatever the fuck he was to her. I know they were a couple. He went missing. She's distraught. Uh, doesn't want to think that he's out cheating on her or anything, so just assumes the worst, hires this dude to find her. Um, but she's obviously got uneasy feelings towards... What was his name again? Leslie Chase. Um, and she doesn't want her friend dating him until they know more about him. Da-da-da-da-da. Overall, it was... 
a slightly generic story, but with some um, supernatural and f folklore mythology mixed in that made it interesting. Um, glad I didn't pay full price for it, though, that's for sure. I pretty sure I got this during one of their $10 movie sales. At least I fucking hope I did. Um, it was either that or during like a Black Friday or halfway to Black Friday sale. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting to it now. I've had this for a little bit. Um, I have this really cool app called CLZ Movies where you can catalog your movies. All I've got in there so far is my Vinegar Syndrome, my Unearthed collection and my category threes i'm up to 290 already but the cool thing is you shake your phone and then it just pulls up a random flick in the collection and then if you can't figure out what you want to watch give your phone a shake and it'll suggest something to you you can mark off if you've seen it before or not da -da -da, all that fun jazz uh, categorized through Blu-ray, 4K, VHS, all that jazz too. Um, sometimes it does take a while before it shows you one you haven't seen. There we go, like Flesh Eater. So maybe that'll be one I watch later today. Um, once I get the rest of the collection in there, there will be a lot more unwatched and then easier to, to do. I, I wish... Although, I wish there was an option that you could check where it only showed you unwatched movies um, when you do the shake, but whatever. Small Grape, awesome app. And, yeah, last gasp. Nothing really spectacular. There's some cool scenes. Um, Evil T-1000 dude. Uh, Robert Patrick. Uh, he was... He was the best part of this movie. Um, the chicks were blah. Oh, and there we do get some titty scenes, some sex scenes, but the music during them were so bad, I just fast-forwarded the shit. Not even titties could save the bad music. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to wrap up this review, folks. I don't know what else to say about Last Gas, but... Pray you never hear it, but yeah. Grab it during a sale. Don't pay full price. Thanks for watching. Stay sleazy. Peace.